beautiful Gemini, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your career reading for the end of June, right through to the end of July 2022. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pertain to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details, and I'll never ask you for personal details either. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Gemini, this is your career reading. I'm going to get all of your cards first before I transmute an outcome. Uh, so let us see what comes out for you. Uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Grand Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Gemini? What do they need to know regarding their career reading? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to see? Okay, um, how would you like to receive? Thank you so much. Um, we have... Uh, the Hermit, we have the High Priestess. I feel like we've got a Wheel of Fortune here because I just see uh, good luck. Well, actually, they give me the word Kismet in uh, the water, Kismet. So uh, Kismet is about destiny. So let us see there. We got the Death card and we got the Wheel of Fortune. There we go, okay? Uh, so uh, definitely a run of good luck occurring for you in your career. Uh, but let's see a little bit more of the detail before uh, we start. Uh, we've got the King of Wands energy. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Gemini? What do they need to know regarding their career? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to see? Um, so very, very talented person. Uh, you're very good at what you do. You have a lot of knowledge, a lot of passion for what you do. And some of you may have even withdrawn recently in order to focus on something intensely in your career, okay? Maybe you've got bigger philosophical questions. Oh, they want me to stop there. Uh, bigger philosophical questions regarding your career. Uh, I mean, you're entering... You're ending there on the emperor energy so that is an indication that you're really bossing up in your career um you're taking new steps as you move forward six of cups thank you so much spirit guides great angels uh, can you please guide we got the hierophant twice in the same position so a lot of learning going on listening to your intuition okay having faith because there's an energy here of you sometimes doubting your wonderful self uh, but we will go uh, a little bit deeper and find out what's going on there for you um they want three cards in this position. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide Eight of Cups? Uh, one, oh no, three more. Sorry, I thought it was three cards in this position. Yeah, they want one more. Okay, okay. We got the Devil card. We got the Ace of Swords. Oh, and the King of Cups there. Okay. Um, the devil card. Oh, uh, let's see what that's all about. That can be about fear because we've got a little bit of uh, five of swords energy going on there. So a little bit of mental conflicts going on. Uh, but I feel like you have a breakthrough on whatever has been holding you back because the devil card showed up with the ace of swords. Okay, so let's get straight to it. We've got the hermit energy. Now the hermit energy is a bit of a withdrawal. So uh, perhaps some of you have been feeling a little bit low energy recently, my beautiful Gemini or you've decided to sort of take a step back to really think about your career and, you know, look inward for answers about your path or what to do next. There's an energy here of you focusing on leadership or, you know, moving forward in your career, moving up, elevating, because we do have a King of Wands here and a Six of Cups. So it could be that you're returning, your passion returns for something that you do, but you may have felt a little bit jaded recently or a little bit exhausted in your career um, because we've got the Hermit and the Hermit tends to take himself out of the rat race, as it were, to revitalize his spirits. Now, male or female, not a gender-specific reading. It's about the energy. Hermit is a temporary timeout. So whether you've actually taken a temporary timeout from your work uh, recently because of uh, some sort of... Um, 
procedure or something like that, or you just took a vacation, for example, it's given you some breathing space to really think about things and be reflective. Uh, it doesn't have to be um, that you've actually taken time out of work, but it can mean that you've taken the time out mentally to really sort of rejuvenate your energy and renew your path or re sort of revitalize your spirit or your perspective on your career or everything in your life, really, because the hermit really takes some time out to withdraw and um, it's almost like be very philosophical about your journey as in how far you've come, where you want to go, where you feel like you're at right now and what you need to do in order to get to where you want to go. It's like a bit of a strategy, but you're gaining enlightenment and you're listening to your inner wisdom. OK, you have a lot of knowledge and uh, the hermit, as you can see, we've got a bear there, which represents endurance. Uh, you have a lot of power in uh, whatever career sector you work in, but sometimes you don't believe in yourself. We've got all the cards regarding faith right down the center. Now, this is the resistance position. So sometimes uh, you lack a little bit of faith in yourself, but also you also, um, sorry for using also twice, uh, they're giving me this energy of you um, being very original. Uh, you sort of go against the grain in whatever it is you do. It's not that you're rebellious, but you find a different way, a maverick kind of way of doing whatever it is you want to achieve. You're not the sort of person who follows uh, everybody else's route. You're not someone who follows tradition. Gemini, you are someone who is original. You think outside the box. You're very creative and you've, you look at things very, very differently. So I feel like there is a traditional route to get to where you want to go, but it's not so interesting. So I feel like you're kicking back and doing something a little bit more that you're passionate about, okay? Now, as you can see, we've got like a lantern there and the fire still burns. So if you felt recently that you've had lack of motivation or you've just been really like questioning everything uh, regarding your career, your passion still burns for whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. And as you can see, we've got all the sun. Uh, it's almost like the sun is missing. Can you see that there's like um, the elements it's kind of like the outline of the sun is there, but the sun is not present. It's night. So you may feel like um, you're trying to see with clarity, but you're searching for something that you feel you haven't quite achieved yet. So I feel like the search continues and you're looking at your path withdrawing in order to find which is the next path to take. So ideally you're in search of the sun. So um, I feel like, because the sun is the happiest card in the deck. So I actually feel like you're taking the initiative to revitalize your spirits and, you know, get back into your dream or whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. We have a star there, which means you're still... You still have passion for a goal or a dream, but you may have felt like you lost your way or things got really saturated recently and you're like, which way do I turn next? Okay, uh, the energy here, we've got the protagonist energy. This is all your protagonist energy. We've got Virgo energy. Uh, we've got Aries energy there as well and some water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So you may have placements in those uh, in your chart in some area. It doesn't have to be. Uh, but the King of Wands is someone who is powerful, who actually sometimes does not even realize what power you have, my beautiful Gemini. This is an Aries card of taking the initiative, but it's also about leadership. You are capable of great leadership skills. Also, it's a card of vitality, um, being motivated again, finding that passion for what you do. You're aligning yourself with your goals, your dreams, and you're, you're the sort of person who can lead other people and inspire people as well. But most importantly, I feel like you're marching to the beat of your own drum and you're finding your own passion for what you do. And you have the power to influence your circumstances. Confidence is key, okay? Confidence in your abilities, confidence in your vision that you're becoming, whatever it is you are trying to achieve. Now, I would say don't be closed off to any new ideas either. Uh, spirit tends to leave us uh, with little breadcrumbs, uh, sort of like as clues sometimes uh, in terms of um, what to look out for. I feel like the word kismet, because it's coming up in the water again, it's actually in lights. Um, I feel like that's a word you will see over the next couple of weeks that it signifies some sort of change. Now, it could be the name of a shop that you walk past. It could be the name of a street, uh, an avenue, or it could be um, a company. It could even be um, you're reading a book, for example, and the word kismet is in that book. So the word kismet, look out for that. Uh, it means destiny, fate, and you've got the Wheel of Fortune there that just showed up as they were showing me that uh, word. So there is a faded opportunity, but you will see that word in particular as a signifier, okay, that things are about to change. Now, this is a card of taking the initiative, finding that sort of 
passion within yourself to you know, the Six of Cups is, is a card of return. So I feel like whatever it is you've been dreaming about or fantasizing about in your career, you are returning to this. Now, some of you maybe have been looking back as well at old ways of working or things that have happened in the past, because this is a card of nostalgia. So you may be thinking about the good old days of work where you felt like there wasn't so much responsibility uh, because the Emperor is showing up there, which is a card of responsibility. Now you're like uh, weighed down with responsibilities to pay bills and things like that and you may feel a little bit stuck so for example if you've you know um you know, you're for example tied to a mortgage or you're tied to a contract with your career and you kind of still like it but there's just so much responsibility you're feeling that there's not much fun okay uh, this can be a card of looking back when things are were a little bit easier but you're much further ahead okay yes you do have a lot more responsibilities but your heart is engaged and whatever it, it is this, um, I feel like it's an opportunity that comes out of nowhere that helps you make a really good business decision. Um, there's some sort of communication that comes towards you where I feel like some of you will actually um, have a new contract or you will uh, sort of partner up in business with a new place or a new position. Some of you actually uh, will be like entrepreneurs, set up your own business. And I feel like um, whilst it may feel like a bit of a minefield with, um, you know, administration and like tasks and you know filling in forms and the like uh, you actually get into a really good position where you are your own boss okay but I feel like you're going from the king of wands to the emperor so there is more responsibility but there is more money that it comes with that as well more power so I mean some of you uh, I feel the Six of Cups is like a gift, an opportunity, and I feel like you're recognizing how much talent you have and what you want to achieve. Um, people want your gift, let's put it that way. You're sharing your gift, because this is a card of sharing your gift or sharing what you have to offer in terms of your career. Um, now this this could also be you yearning to return to either a place that you used to work at because this is a return card or it can mean someone from your past reaches out and offers you a position that um, is available and it gives you something to think about okay because um, this is a card of sometimes people from your past popping back it could be uh, an old boss because it's the king of wands there it could be someone who's an Aries but someone popping back or an offer an opportunity that is coming back around for you that you may have felt let you lost out on okay it's coming back around um now we do have uh, the high priestess the high priestess is about uh you know trusting your intuition but really sitting back and sort of working really hard but not saying anything it's almost like working hard in silence uh this card is a card of like gestation period where uh things are being thought about meditated on uh, you know trusting your intuition and your subconscious mind for answers so i feel this card is you um bringing all that knowledge and wisdom that you have within to the fore you're starting to flourish in your career and whatever it is that you do for a living you're really good at it okay but sometimes because this is in the resistance position sometimes uh you lack a little bit of faith in your path because you may feel like things are delayed so you may worry that maybe I'm not meant to do this or maybe I'm not going to be successful um, that your guys want you to be aware that you're changing the way that you think about your career and also fate is intervening to bring you some good luck as well just to highlight you're really good at what you do and you are being elevated okay um, now, because the high priestess is in the reverse position, it can mean that um, you have a secret. It can mean that you are uh, sort of like, you know, if an opportunity has arisen or someone from your past has reached out and said, hey, there's an opportunity, or you've been like putting your resume out there, for example, you may be keeping that to yourself or you may have even uh, an opportunity from somebody may have come your way and you've taken some time out to really think about it, but you're not telling about it anybody about it at this point because you're trying to figure out yourself if this is right for you okay um, I'm gonna pull some cards on this resistance position because all these cards are about having faith we've got uh, you know the hierophant twice there which indicates uh, you know the hierophant is like a marriage it can also be like a contract um, between you and people but I feel like this is about education some of you may be like, you know, I don't want to go down the education route. I want to go down the doing route. I want to uh, do something that I love doing. I don't, uh, at this time, you know, you may even be thinking about, should I do what I love? 
but maybe there's not as much money as what I, I'm hoping for. So maybe I could teach what I love um, and make more money that way. So I feel right now there's part of you that's like, I, I mean, this is the resistance position. So either this is you are booking yourself on courses of learning that you've resisted for such a long time. Maybe you haven't been financially viable to do that. Or uh, now you're deciding it's the timing is right and you put yourself on a course of learning, uh, higher learning as it were, either courses online or even in person. Um, and this is about you connecting to people who can, I just feel like there's someone who's gonna share a piece of information with you that helps you in your career, okay? But this is, these two cards in this position is about, uh, you're the sort of person who does things differently. You, a traditional like nine to five job, whilst you may take it because it is um, lucrative or it's attractive, active uh it doesn't sit with your soul you are here to do something really differently you kick back uh, against like uh, hierarchy uh, you like to march to the beat of your own drum it's not that you're being disobedient in your career but it's the sort of thing that you know i feel like people in power are noticing how good you are at what you do because you stand out from the crowd because you're different okay it's about your authenticity and it's because you're willing to walk away from things um, that don't vibe with your soul people really like that about you that you don't mince your words you're the sort of person that's like if that doesn't vibe with me I'm, I'm not engaging in it so I feel like a lot of people respect you within your career sector um, if you work for yourself as well I feel like you lead with integrity uh, honesty and you have a lot of power, more power than you realize they want you to be aware. Uh, but I'm just gonna pull some cards on those Hierophant cards because you get two Hierophant cards and a High Priestess. This is about you. Um, I feel sometimes uh, there's an energy of you not being able to authentically express yourself in positions where like in office situations, things like that, where you feel are a little bit stuffy or you feel like, you know, there's a way of doing things like, uh, you know, I always say like barrel from accounts. She's like, oh, you can't do it like that. We've never done it like that. And you may say, well, it's much quicker if I do it this way and it'll save us all a lot more time and a lot more of a headache. So we should do it this way. It's just easier. And Beryl's like, no, no, no. We've always done it the other way. So we would really appreciate it if you just stuck to the rules and you're like, oh, rules schmools. I don't really like rules. I feel like you're learning the rules to break the rules. That's what I get in your reading. Okay. Because you're a maverick when it comes to your career. Uh, now we've got the Eight of Wands and we've got the Five of Cups. The Eight of Wands in the reverse indicates something's been slow showing up there or you may have felt something's grounded to a halt. In the Five of Cups, you're looking at things like the past situations, all the things that may have gone before that you did not um, have, see it as an opportunity or you may have felt like you lost out on something, but there's something better. Um, the, the Eight of Wands, you may, have, for example, you may have gone for a, a, an interview and you not, may not heard anything from that interview. And your first thought is, I didn't get it. You're chalking it up to, I didn't get that. I lost that, you know, that's gone. Um, what you're not aware of is that it's coming back around. It hasn't gone. It was just delayed, okay? So some of you, uh, if you've gone for interviews or you've gone for an opportunity and you haven't heard anything, uh, it's it's actually just delayed. And it's got nothing to do with you, my beautiful Gemini. It's going to come back around towards you in the right timing. Um, for those of you who have lost out an opportunity, um, as you can see, that figure just needs to turn around. In the future, there is something that is much better that vibes with your soul. So there is an opportunity just waiting for you to discover it. Let's put it that way. But the Wheel of Fortune indicates that there is an intervention. So um, the, you're in a period in your career when you get this card of releasing all that is not working for you right now. All the things that have been coloring your perception to make things seem a little bit negative or in delay. Um, I feel like you're releasing them and you're, ha you're being fearless with the, this card. I feel like you're liberating yourself with the death card signals change transformation elevation just like that um phoenix rising from the ashes okay um ten of pentacles yeah you're, you're moving towards something that's more lucrative something that's more financially rewarding ten of pentacles is also about you know you making your mark what is your legacy i feel like you're asking yourself the bigger questions like yes money is great it's important to pay the bills and feed ourselves of course but I feel you're looking at things in terms of emotions, like, am I fulfilled in this position? If I'm not, what else do I want to do? Or what has been a long-term dream or goal? So I feel some of you may be revisiting either a hobby or a goal or a wish that you used to have for your career. And I feel like um, 
you are different enough to stand out from the crowd and be successful. Uh, also, I feel a lot of you may be looking at, um, it's almost like you may be looking at your finances and, you know, looking at how things work financially in order to protect your money because um, the higher fronts can be like institutions. So it can mean that right now you don't trust certain in institutions to sort of house your money, for example. And you may be looking at ways to financially secure your finances should there be any sort of like world event or anything like that. But because I feel like you are guide guarding yourself against loss uh, in your, your, in your finances in particular. And I feel like, um, some of you may like want to leave a position or may want to, um, set up your own business, but you may feel a little bit nervous right now because you may feel like you will lose out on money. Okay. So I feel like some of you may be learning how to, um, do, cause we got, the hierophant there twice, it can mean that there's two contracts, for example, or you're going to do two streams of income and you're learning to find balance between uh, doing the two jobs, but keeping them on the down low. So the other one doesn't hear about it or something like that. It's not that you're moonlighting. I feel like you're, you're setting yourself up for a really good position financially. Um, we've got the death card here, which signals change and transformation. It's also a card of evolution. You're moving on from the King of Wands energy into the Emperor. So you're definitely elevating in terms of your career. This is your outcome position. Okay. So I feel like you're cultivating your energy. So you're extremely sort of streamlining your energy to the things that matter in your career and sort of cutting away the things that just don't deserve your energy or you feel like things are not working. Now, just because a certain route or route, however you pronounce it, um, isn't working for you at this time or it's slower than usual, I feel like you're just changing your tactics to still get the outcome, the goal that you're looking to achieve. Uh, I feel like you're definitely on track um, and there's definitely some uh, good luck coming on in. This is a turning point in your career. Uh, it is a turning point of change for the better. Fortune coming on in, good karma. Now, I do feel like there's a random opportunity just going to show up for you. Um, there's a piece of news. I feel like you like either hear it on the grapevine or um, it may even just pop into your email box. There's an opportunity. Uh, it could also be a new idea that you have that suddenly puts you in a really powerful position. To have the Emperor along with the King of Cups and an Ace of Swords is a very, very powerful position, okay? Uh, it can mean that you are either partnering up with other people, uh, because we've got two kings here and an emperor, so it could be you and other people are coming together uh, to create something really special and uh, very financially lucrative. I would pay close attention to any contracts that you sign, okay, because it is binding, and you do have a devil card here, so you don't want to get yourself stuck in a position that you feel you can't get out of, okay? Um, it could also mean that you are using this energy, and I'm going to pull a card on it. Uh, you know, you've got passion, love for what you do. You would make a really fair and good boss, someone who uh, people respect, okay? Because you honor people, and you're very good with people. You're very charming. Uh, you've got a lot of charisma, but most important, you've got honesty, and, you know, you tell people where they stand. So I feel like you'd be a very, very good leader or, you know, Maybe you're moving into management or something like that. Um, with the Emperor card, this is about strategy. How to strategize like a five-year plan, for example, and get yourself in a position to be very, very successful. This is a card, again, connected to success, leadership, but most importantly, structure and energy. So I feel like you're, you're influencing your situation in a very different way. You're finding a maverick or an alternative route to get to where you want to go. And you're, you're allowing yourself to stand out from the crowd. There's also a bit of a turning point, as I said, some good luck. Your luck changes for the better towards the end of July and brings a lot of prosperity your way. Uh, we do have a Five of Swords. Now the Five of Swords, we've got the Seven of Pentacles. These are by your side. Uh, you know, it was clarified by this and the Eight of Cups indicates that you're walking away from that energy anyway. Uh, we've got Five of Swords, which means sometimes we sabotage ourselves, okay? It can be mental conflict, drama. So for example, you could have been experiencing office politics and you've decided to step out of the office politics energy so that you can uh, be in that hermit mode where you're like, you know what, I'm just going to use my energy for good and not gossip or not take part in any of the drama. I'm just removing myself. I feel this energy 
that you're being noticed by people in positions of power because of the way you've shifted, okay? Uh, five of Swords can also be that um, winning at all costs. So you may be dealing with someone who tries to win at all costs. Um, wherever you're working right now. And I feel like with the Seven of Pentacles, um, you're wondering basically, is it worth it? Is it worth uh, entering into any engagements or any, you know, any of your time into a person who's like this? And I feel like you're taking a step back. On a grander scale, I feel like this is you, like uh, having a bit of overthinking going on, a little bit of mental conflict about the effort that you put into your work and how much you get out of it. So you may be looking at all your potential, uh, how talented you are, because you guys are straight off the mark saying how talented you are, how good at you are, what you do, what you do. You have so much potential. So a lot of you may be thinking, I work really hard and I'm not getting enough money. So you may be looking at that, how to find an alternative strategy to get to where you want to go. And it may make you feel a little bit like nervous okay seven of pentacles is about the effort you put in and what you get out as you can see it takes a lot to nurture that tree that's bearing fruit right now but as you can see um there's no coins coming off they're not ripe for the picking just yet so yes you're going to be very very successful but you may feel like you're always waiting or uh, your success is delayed or just out of reach this card is a card where you're at a crossroads where you are evaluating any dissatisfaction in your career. So I feel like you're doing checks, uh, you're sort of like um, counting your finances, uh, looking at how much hours you put into things. I feel like things are developing in a really positive way, but I feel like you're looking at your accomplishments and seeing how you can capitalize on it or make more money. Uh, some of you, as I said, will find an alternative source of income to help you progress financially. Um, but I feel like you're going to see efforts, uh, your effort, your hard work starting to uh, blossom there. Um, Yeah, I feel like this is about you looking at certain things that are no longer for you and saying, you know what, I'm, I'm in search of something greater. I'm in search of something better. Um, and the Eight of Cups indicates you're walking away from things that are not working for you right now. This is a journey of discovery. You're seeking something beyond the superficial. Yes, money is important, but I feel like you're re-examining where you've been, where you've been at, uh, where you are right now, and where you might go in the future. And part of you may be like really searching for the right path right now in your career. And I feel like you're listening to your intuition, but you feel you ought to walk away from something that has either been toxic with the devil card, as I said, I'm going to pull a card on that, either toxic or you feel um, it is just not vibing with your heart right now. Okay, some of you may feel like you walked away from something and you came up, up against a blockage of some sorts. Uh, so let me just pull a card on that. Now the devil card, it's not an evil card. It's basically a card that we all come across on the journey of life because that's what Tarot is, especially the major arcana. It is the journey of life. We all start off the full card and we work our way up to the emperor. And then you, you know, you're really lucky you're at the emperor stage in your career. So you're powering up, you're recognizing how um, important your, your power is. And you know, we all get to the devil card, which means a blockage. Now this can mean that um, there's an energy here of you walking away from anything that is like a trap, shall we say, or a toxic environment. Uh, you know, something, for example, if you've got a job that you really like doing and it pays you a lot of money, but the, the, the environment is like toxic or the people, there's a lot of drama, there's a lot of like people speaking behind each other's back and, you know, not very nice energy. I feel like you may be walking away from that. And whilst it is unfair, it means you do walk into something greater. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. Can you, whoa. Okay. I've got to go get that card. Very explosive. I'm, I'm clarifying the devil card here. So let's see what this is. King of Wands. You're more powerful. Okay. You're taking the initiative to remove a blockage. Whether it's fear, whether it is something binding, or whether you are... Some of you may actually um, sort of move into a management position and there is a lot of toxic energy that you're having to try and dispel, but you are more powerful, okay? King of Wands energy is, you know, you having influence, influence in a, uh, you know, don't get power hungry, I would say, uh, because I feel like the King of Wands is like 
someone who inspires others and benefits not just yourself but others too um this is a very bold card of leadership so again i would say and i don't believe you ever would my beautiful gemini but i feel this is about you uh, i don't feel like you would ever try to win at all costs especially if you had competition uh, but i feel like you're being motivated to remove a blockage that's what i feel and i, I actually feel like there's an opportunity uh, that comes around about the fourth week of July is what I'm getting, that sees you have a major breakthrough. Uh, the Ace of Swords is a moment of not just power and discipline, but also responsibility and achievement. So I feel like whatever you've set out to do, you have the courage of your convictions, whether it's a new idea, I feel like you are powered up and you know, destiny and fate intervene to bring you this opportunity. You can expect quick results when you see this card. As you can see, we got the victory wreath right there, the breakthrough sword and the crown chakra, uh, with the crown there, which represents crown chakra. You know you will be successful. You know that you will remove this blockage. You will see what the blockage is and you will remove it and walk away from anything that is just not comfortable for you anymore. Um, I also feel with the Ace of Swords, if there's been any sort of like, negative energy where you've been working i feel like you're leading with truth and integrity and it will be seen okay uh, this is a card of expecting to move forward with quick results there's information coming on in here whether it's news um okay just all of a sudden there give me a song one moment please okay i think it says i had a dream so big and loud I jump so high, I touch the cloud. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so it's, it starts going whoa, whoa as well. Um, now that is a very, very familiar song. Um, I almost wanna say it's called something like a beautiful day or something, or the best day. Yeah, I can't, I don't know the exact song. I'm gonna have to be honest, I can't see. Although I am seeing, hmm. I'm seeing the American flag wrapped up in a book. Uh, well, a book is sort of wrapped in, in a, an American flag. Okay. A book. Uh, okay, I'm not really sure what that's giving me. Uh, maybe it's uh, someone who's uh, from the US that sings this. I'm not really sure. They show me an American flag right now and a book. So, um, not unless you can see an American flag right now and a book right next to it. I mean, so yeah, I'm gonna leave that image there. I'm not really sure what they're trying to tell me. Um, flag, book, author, writer. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it like that. I'm not really sure. So yeah, either you, you know what that song is. It's a very famous song, it's very familiar to me, but I, I just, I don't really take notes sometimes of people who sing the songs or even the lyrics, uh, but what they just gave me, I mean, I had a dream so big i jumped and touched did it say touch the sky or a cl cloud i think it said cloud um because it's gone now in the water once i hear it and i've given the message um it sort of goes so either you're going to hear that song just before this reading or you're going to hear it after this reading or it's a signifier song that there is going to be some sort of news headed your way communication headed your way that changes everything okay gives you clarity on a blockage Gives you clarity on how to um, move forward in your career. Now, some of you may be seeking advice on how to protect your money or how to um, add new skills to your career or to your to new skills to your bow, a new craft. But you're you're going to shine. I just get this energy that you're going to shine. You are maverick. You stand out from the crowd. King of Cups. King of Cups energy is someone who is uh, you know very uh, well liked by people also a really good boss you know so either this is you being a really good boss and the powers that be are noticing your leadership skills and elevating you uh, i just get this energy of you doing something that you love offering your whole heart and soul into what you do you're passionate you've got a dream um and i feel like you're going to accomplish that dream you're closer to this dream than you have been in a long time um that's what i'm getting here with that king of cups um also, I feel like Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, they're just showing me a lucky break here for you. They're actually showing me a signet ring, 
as well in the water. So either you've got a signet ring or you just bought one, or there is a person who offers you a position and they've got a signet ring. So if you're like, maybe it's your boss, they're offering you to elevate and, and give you a, pro, a raise or a promotion, or they just give you praise and a little bit more money. Um, could also be if you've gone for an interview, with somebody, they're wearing a signet ring or someone in that establishment is wearing an into, uh, a signet ring. Uh, it could also be that your symbol to set up your own company is a signet ring, so please take it as it resonates. Uh, we've got the Wheel of Fortune twice. I mean, this is a pretty lucky month for you. Uh, there is an opportunity. I'm only feeling one opportunity, okay? Uh, one big one that's coming your way. Uh, a real big change in your fortune. Uh, when you get this, this is about either, like, if you're taking a risk by starting up your own business or setting out on your own in some way or you know deciding to go for a new opportunity i feel like you're going to get a lucky break in your career that works out perfectly for you and i mean they give you the word kismet which means destiny and you get the wheel of fortune twice so i feel like this is a really big deal okay uh, it's not often that i get well i rarely get the word kismet i think one time i got the word kismet in a reading and this is the second time. So uh, maybe not for Gemini, but uh, Wheel of Fortune twice. This is a very lucky month for you where things are changing for the better. I feel like you're recognizing your potential and there's a lot of possibilities here. So I feel like there's a destined opportunity that randomly pops out of the blue and you're gonna grab it with both hands. Uh, let me see, uh, you know, a little bit more. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels, can you please guide? Thank you so much. Page of Cups, an offer, yep, yeah, an offer popping out of the blue. Something that you're going to love doing, something that you've been dreaming about. Pages of Cups, pages, they bring news, and Cups are all about the dreams. So this is an opportunity, um, maybe something that you've been studying for, maybe that you are you volunteered for to do something like this in the past, but I just get this energy of you being enthusiastic about an offer that comes through to you. Um, and this could be a friend. It could be a f through a friend. I keep getting this energy. It could be through a friend. It doesn't have to be, but I feel it is an opportunity that is the catalyst for change in your career. So whether you're hearing it on the grapevine or it pops into your email box, I just there's an opportunity popping out of nowhere. So you can see the fish does not belong in that cup. It just pops out of nowhere. So it's unexpected. And I feel like it's uh, emotionally very, very rewarding but financially so as well. But I feel more that you're focusing on enjoying your career or enjoying what you do, because I feel there's a big philosophical energy about who you are, what you wanna do, how you leave your mark on the world, and I feel your luck is changing, okay? Uh, I'm just gonna pull some final cards before I close your reading. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Um, in the water right now, they show me a zebra. A zebra, so, uh, you know, zebra, of course, uh, is a beautiful creature very unique, you know. Um, now, either you can see a zebra as you're listening to this reading or you're going to see one after this reading. I mean, it's not gonna be one just walking down the street, right? But it could be that you see one on a billboard or perhaps you're, you've you been, uh, you, I can't imagine you're at the zoo uh, listening to this, but uh, there's an image of a zebra. So it can mean that you see one in a painting or something like that. So, or you're looking at one as, or even drawing one or painting one as you're listening to this reading. I just see one, um, a zebra, okay? We've got Orca Whale Adventure. So trying to get a little bit more excitement in your career. It says here, dare to do things differently. That's what you're doing. You're doing things differently. Sing your wild song, manifest your travel dreams, attempt the great journey with confidence, be loyal, friends and family are your treasures, be brave, you're more powerful than you know. My gosh, that is exactly the cards that have come out. You're more powerful than you know, because we got the king of wands, they're going to the emperor energy, dare to do things differently. You've got the maverick cards in the right position. So you're doing things differently. You're not rebelling, but I feel like you're learning the rules to break the rules, to stand out from the crowd. And, you know, I feel like you're manifesting something with your vibrations and you're daring to be different. That is what sets you apart from everybody else, okay? Any further advice for my beautiful Gemini? Also, we've got, you know, Orca Whale. They tend to have that sonar, that wild soul song um, that acts as um, a sonar of anything that is incoming, anything that is coming into their vicinity that they can... Sense 
you know so I mean they also tend to kind of work together in teams when it go when it comes to uh, looking for an opportunity to find their prey for example so I feel like there could be either someone you know already or someone who's got your back who comes towards you to help you out with an opportunity uh, we've got media we've got animals so that zebra is coming up for a reason uh, success will find you and take action yes so media some of you if you want to be famous you've got will of fortune twice so you're going to stand out from the crowd energy there it says step into the spotlight and get seen don't allow your talent to go unnoticed so definitely uh, whether it's media or not you're standing out from the crowd you're the sort of person who uh, people in positions of power are seeing you you're going to be in a position of power or you are in a position of power you will be seen for your for your talent a career in television radio magazine or any mass media job might just be perfect for you it might be time to get more publicity if you want to increase your finances okay so peacock your wonderful self know that you know you're talented you stand out from the crowd get yourself out there okay I know it's hard to put your work out there sometimes and you know let yourself be seen but you are really good at what you do so don't hide away your talents okay we've also got animals and it says you're being asked to follow your instincts at this time when making business decisions any career working with animals rescue or the veterinary field could be for you connect with your power animal to improve your finances so you'll also of course know what your power animal is my beautiful Gemini but a zebra was coming up there as well so I, you know I always be honest and say I don't know the spiritual sort of meaning or energy of zebra as a totem animal so I'm gonna to have to look that up for you all um, but it, it is very very unique okay so uh, I feel that's what it's kind of hinting at there success will find you and we got the Wheel of Fortune twice so that is a given there we've also got take action you had that king of wands there take action on something it says whatever your question is telling you sorry I'll start again whatever your question this is telling you to go for it the answer is yes do not procrastinate or wait to take the next step get ahead just do it nothing will change if you don't take action don't let the opportunity pass you by and there is an opportunity coming on in here for you you will grab it with both hands don't let it pass you by your instincts will tell you as soon as it shows up you're like this is it this is I you feel great you feel like you're walking on on air okay uh, now before I leave the reading I'm just gonna get a ruin but they're also showing me a pair of golden glasses it's almost like golden framed glasses I mean that could be anybody you know I, I, I know lots of people got glasses and they've got golden frames but I feel like it could be like for some reason I'm seeing a normal pair of glasses that are golden frames and then I'm seeing like a pop art kind of style pair of glasses that's been drawn so I mean maybe you are an artist and you're actually looking at a pair of glasses and drawing one right now or uh, you're going into art or um, I mean it could be a sign you see on a billboard or something like that so please look out for that uh, I feel because it's glasses I feel like you see a golden opportunity I feel like it's about keeping your eyes open to see a golden opportunity uh, now as we move forward okay wonderful we have this is uh, basically this is a ruin that connects to fortune uh, basically this is the elk ruin Elaz yeah it's in the upright there and this is about friendship optimism so it can mean that someone from your past reaches out whether it's a friend it could be it could be a friend that just reaches out this is a ruin that connects to a seal uh, making things sort of like happen signing contracts things like that not delaying there being like victory energy there so but it really connects more to fortune fortunate energy so uh, they want me to put it on the wheel of fortune right there so I will it's right there I hope something resonates in this reading for you my beautiful Gemini if it does please like and subscribe to my channel completely free for you all you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message it lets me know that you resonate with the reading which is very important for me okay thank you so much and uh, love a light